As a church, why do we engage in news writing? Who would care to read about my ministry or my testimony? These are questions worth asking, and today we will not only learn why news writing is essential for your church, but also how to write an article effectively. So, once again, welcome to another episode of Medium Minutes. Why is it important for you to share your church story? Simply put, it's all about informing and inspiring. By sharing our stories, we fulfill God's calling to tell of His love to the world. Imagine if the disciples had never written about the gospel, or if Ellen White never wrote about her visions. Writing is about connecting, engaging, and making an impact. Our church and individual testimonies contribute to a larger narrative that brings people closer to our community and God. So, let's get into it. How do you find your stories? It starts with understanding your audience. Who are you trying to reach? Is it your local community, your church members, or are you just trying to inspire fellow believers with your testimony? Whoever your audience is, keeping them in mind will help you decide what kind of stories you want to write. It would also help you in understanding your news value. News values are the factors that make a story newsworthy. We will cover five of them. First, there is timeliness. Recent events have a higher priority than evergreen stories, or stories that can be told at any time. So, think of stories where the timing is crucial. If you have a church event, people may not care about it six months after it happens. Instead, try to write the story as soon as it happens. Second is proximity. This emphasizes stories that are geographically close to your audience, making them more relatable. So, if your audience is your local community, they might not care so much about a food fair in Tallahassee, Florida, for example, but they would care about all the delicious food offered at your local church international food festival. Third, let's talk about impact. In simple terms, the more people it affects, the greater news value. Ask yourself, how many people will benefit from reading your story? How many people will want to learn more? Fourth, there is oddity. There is a quote in news writing that says, if a dog bites a man, then no one cares. However, if a man bites a dog, then that's news. In other words, if something is unusual, then your audience will probably want to learn more. Why did a man bite a dog? In a church setting, an example for this news value could be a week of prayer where all the preachers were children. That's unusual, and that's definitely very interesting. Finally, there is human interest. This is where your personal testimonies might fit. Human interest adds an emotional dimension to news by emphasizing stories that resonate with a human experience, evoking feelings of empathy, curiosity, or personal connection. These are the stories that touch the heart. Now we have all those news values in mind, let's talk about interviews. Interviews add depth and authenticity to your stories. Talk to the people who were involved or touched by your ministry. Talk to the person who has a testimony so powerful you can't seem to forget, and then talk to those who are a part of their story. Prepare for your interviews with thoughtful, well-researched, open-ended questions. In other words, questions that cannot be answered with a simple yes or no. Make sure you come prepared to take notes, and most importantly, make sure you come prepared to listen. When writing, always aim to include quotes from your sources. Quotes bring your narrative to life and establish credibility. Once you've identified your story and conducted the interviews, structure it by using the inverted pyramid format. In this format, you will place the most crucial information at the beginning and gradually unfold the details. Make sure that on the first paragraph you answer as many of the six important questions. Where, when, what, who, why, and how. This way, even if readers only skim through your article, they get the essence of your story right away. So you've crafted your story. Now what? Your stories were made to share. Share it on your church website. Share it on your social media accounts. Share it on your newsletter. Send it to your local newspaper. Remember, pictures speak a thousand words. So whenever you share a story, make sure to include a few photos with it. You want to get published in the Southern Tidings? Connect with the communication team at your conference. We're here to guide you through the process, and we're here always eager to learn how God is blessing your church.
Remember that the Southern Titans is a fantastic opportunity to share your narrative with a broader audience. News writing is not just about words on paper, it's about making an impact, creating connections, and sharing the incredible stories within your church community. Start now, embrace the basis we've covered today, and become a storyteller for your faith. If you have any questions or need assistance, don't hesitate to reach out to your conference communication team. Thank you for joining this seminar, and happy writing!